All right, uh, I figured I'd go ahead and make at least one video because, well, uh, I haven't really been all that active lately, and um, a couple of you guys have been asking me on the parts that I use for my PC. Uh, this computer actually has lasted me roughly two years uh, since I first built it. It's completely custom made, uh, and I'll go over the specs in a minute. Uh, I'm probably going to have to like take out the door and uh, I'll go over all the parts as uh, you guys, some of you guys want to know. Uh, I know I haven't been uploading a lot of videos recently and uh, to be honest I'm kind of unmotivated to do or to finish LPs. Uh, I do have a new addition to my computer though and uh, you know if I ever wanted to get started up again it's going to help me a lot. Uh, but until then, I guess I'll just go over uh, the stuff that I have over here on top. If I can get the cable out of the way. There. Oh my god. I'm just going to pull this out. I'm tempted to anyway. But anyway, I have four USB 2.0 ports, microphone jack, headphone jack, uh, Firewire 400, and an E-Serial ATA port, which is pretty cool. Uh, you know, they don't really make Firewire 400s anymore, usually it's like the 800s, and usually those are like PCI adapters, but it's pretty cool that you can, uh, with this case, it's basically built right in, so all you have to do is just plug it to the motherboard if it has the, uh, corresponding Firewire plug thing on, on the board. And eSerial ATA as well, that's plugged into the motherboard too. And that's both of those drives are basically good for like external drives that require higher bandwidth, and those are going to be faster than the USB 2.0s. Uh, this computer is also USB 3.0 capable, but uh, those are in the back of this monster, and I really don't feel like moving all those cables all around it, so. Yeah, and I'm doing this with my webcam, so it's kind of retarded right now. Oh yeah, and the power button is touch sensitive, sort of like the PlayStation 3s, which is pretty cool. Uh, Asus disk drive, you can get these for 20 bucks on Newegg, not even lying. And all the way down there is my hard drive cage, which I have four hard drives in. And I will show you guys the interior uh, in a minute. Alright, so as you can see here, uh, I basically took off the door or the side panel uh, to my rig. As you can see, I have it uh, basically put over here against my dresser. Sorry I have the camera at a very canted view, but this is basically a 200mm uh, fan designed to... It's designed to uh, cool multiple C uh, GPUs. And uh, if you take a look over here, it looks like a little piece of the flap. I don't know if you guys can see it there, but this is kind of cool. If you see that little like flap there, I guess like that's the label peeling itself a little bit, but uh, whatever. Uh, so if you get into custom building uh, computers, then this is going to be a pretty decent video for you if you guys want to start doing this. Uh, you know... You a lot of people think that, you know, PCs are garbage and only last you like a year or so. Well, this thing's lasted me for like two years and uh, basically it's pretty uh, dated. It's not outdated, but it's getting old and, you know, yeah, I know the colors are weird, but whatever. <laughs> uh, let's see here. <clears throat> I guess my specs, we'll start off with the power supply down here because power supplies are the most important component to any PC. <laughs> Jesus. And uh, it's an 850 watt Corsair. Uh, I definitely didn't scrimp out. Uh, don't scrimp out at all when you buy a power supply. Uh, the main reason why is that if you buy a cheap piece of shit, it will basically short your motherboard and ruin everything on it. And you don't want to ruin like $500 worth of equipment or whatever you're, how much you're investing into it. So... Um, you know, the most expensive, like, fanciest part of any PC that you're building, from scratch especially, should be the power supply. I did scrimp out by not buying a modular supply. Uh, as you can see, uh, cords galore, so I just kind of had to suck it up and uh, use uh, very strict cable management. As you can see, like, this is like the neatest, like, job I can do 
you know, in terms of cables and everything's pretty tucked away in the back. Uh, this case is a Cosmos S by way by Cooler Master, and they don't really make these anymore, so I'm kind of worried about that. Like, if the top panel breaks up there, uh, there's really no way I can replace it because I don't even know if they'll have any spare parts for that. But that's basically the same uh, deal with any case that you buy, unfortunately. And, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, they'll have parts. If not, then, you know, I'll have to get a new case, whatever. Uh, under there is a dust filter that you can pull out. And I just dusted this PC, even though it already looks like shit already. And let's see, we go on the top. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, that's my killer uh, 2100 uh, networking card. And it... I don't know if the red LEDs are coming from the card itself, but that's pretty cool. I've never really noticed that. But yeah, I have that plugged into a PCI port. Right underneath that, and you're not going to be able to see this very well at all because it's a very, very tiny card. That is a Blackmagic Intensity Pro. Uh, I used that for streaming, live streaming. Uh... It can also be used, now that I have a solid state drive especially, uh, it can also be used to record a uh, high definition uh, video from basically anything from cameras to video game consoles. And uh, really, the catch about the Black Magic though is that it's basically going to be as powerful as the system you plug it into. So it's basically going to use all of your resources in order to record video. Uh, so you have to be very, very uh, conscious on the build that you're going to do, uh, especially if you're going to, uh, you know, use it specifically for recording video games for you LPers out there. And the motherboard itself is an Asus, uh, what was it, Crosshair 4. Yeah, uh, the Crosshair motherboards are very good. I'd highly recommend them to anybody who's... Uh, using plan on planning on using like an AMD processor or I think they even make them for Intel now so that's pretty good I think the Crosshair 5 is like an Intel motherboard but uh, yeah the Crosshair 5 is pretty ridiculous uh, but yeah this is an AMD build as you guys already know by now and it has like four PCI Express slots which is like insane Obviously, you can see here this big beefy graphics card is an EVGA GTX 470. Uh, these are very, very good cards, but I don't even think they make these anymore. Uh, they're not outdated, but they're dated compared to the newer crap that's out there. I'm telling you, like, the new NVIDIA cards are just absolutely ridiculous, and the ATIs have gotten way better than I expected them to be because I bought this because ATIs... Well, they're not called ATIs anymore, but the ATI graphics cards had major driver issues with them, and they couldn't be run with Linux. And I actually run a Linux, I actually run Linux Ubuntu, or Ubuntu, whatever you want to pronounce it, in a virtual machine. So I wanted my NVIDIA graphics card to basically work with that, but now... You know, AMD graphics has gotten so good where uh, I think it can work with Linux now. Well, yeah, I mean, it's been a few years since I've bought this card. So, yeah, it's basically... The, the playing field is pretty even between graphics cards. This isn't the best graphics card in the world, but I've thrown everything at this thing. And it's just insane. It's more than I'll ever need. Uh, you know, it's just... You know, it's pretty power-hungry, too. But, you know, whatever. Uh, let's see here. Let's move up here. Ah, yes, this is an... Okay, this is the AMD processor, but it's being cooled by a Zalman. Uh, I highly recommend Zalman for heat sinks. Uh, they'll keep your stuff nice and cool, especially, like, this cool, like, turbine-type thing. Uh, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty dope. I think this is, like, a... Let's see here... 92 millimeter fan yeah it's like a 92 millimeter green LED fan and uh, this is actually made out of nickel no wait it's yeah I think it's made out of nickel or something like that it's like some crazy material 
And uh, to be honest, it's not as good as water cooling, but it's really damn efficient for air cooling. Uh, the AMD processor itself is actually very old. It's a Phenom 2 X4 965, and I overclocked that to like 3.9 gigahertz. Uh, you know, an AMD, you know, they, their processors aren't as good as Intel, but, you know, again, it's more than I'll ever need. It's a quad core, you know, what more can I ask? And it cost me like 90 bucks, so, you know, screw that Intel. Um, anyway, over here we have 8 gigabytes of G skill memory with their own heat sink fins, which is pretty nice. Uh, I've never been able to max out on memory either. 8 gigabytes is plenty for me, even when running a virtual machine. Uh, and plus I don't run stupid things in Linux like Compus Fusion or whatever you call it. So, you know, the memory, you know, it's really, really good. It's 1600 megahertz. You know, it's really, like, nice, high-quality stuff that I, uh, put into this build two years ago. And what else do I have to talk about here? Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Uh, nope, that's pretty much it. So we'll move on to the hard drive cage. And as you can see, I have all of my shit properly labeled. Uh, my hard drive cage is right down in here. Oh, and as you can see, uh, I put a new solid state drive. It's an Intel 520. And as you can see, there's not a lot of lighting, so I'll have to provide a flashlight. Uh, my flashlight is right over here. Doink! Okay, so, oh, that's so much better. Okay, so, here you have on the very top, you can see it. Uh, it's an Intel 520, I think it's a, what, 240 gigabyte solid state drive. And uh, this is actually, one of these drives on the bottom is a one terabyte. And the other two drives are 500 gigabytes each, so that's two gigabytes of internal storage combined with uh, the solid state drive as the boot disk. And as you can see, everything's plugged in and going, so yeah, that's basically it with that. And yeah, that's pretty much my computer in a nutshell. See you guys next time for some more videos, and thanks for watching.